The following video will give you a brief overview of the discharge process changes coming with the OneChart upgrade. One of the biggest changes you will notice after the OneChart upgrade involves the discharge process. A new feature has been added for providers called the Discharge Dashboard, which is located within your toolbar at the top of your screen. The Discharge Dashboard is replacing the Discharge Readiness tab used previously in OneChart and has the added benefit of viewing dismissal tasks for multiple patients all at once. To start, simply select the desired patient list from the drop-down options. Please note that these patient lists are the same ones you've already created using your patient list tool and are commonly used daily for rounding purposes. Depending on the patient list you have already created, you can change your view to include only your patients at a specific location or for patients in your provider group if you are covering for your partners over the upcoming weekend. You can use the Discharge Dashboard to identify items that may still need to be addressed prior to dismissal, such as the Discharge Med Rec, Discharge Order, Follow-up Instructions, Discharge Note, or Patient Education. To complete any discharge task, simply click on the patient's name to open their chart. The system may prompt you to identify your relationship to the patient prior to accessing the record. Once in the chart, you can navigate to the new Discharge page to complete any outstanding items. The Discharge page is found on the Provider View tab of the patient's chart alongside the Admit page and Patient Summaries. Similar to the Admit page, the Discharge page allows you to review patient data, complete items necessary to dismiss your patient, and create your discharge note simultaneously. For some providers, this may be labeled as inpatient discharge instead. Again, the Discharge page's functionality is similar to the Admit page, where you can add or remove sections, also known as components, using the Customize menu option in the upper right corner of the page. Remember that sections with a check mark are currently being displayed. You can also rearrange the sections by dragging and dropping them. Unlike the Admit page, the Discharge page contains five required components, which are marked with a red asterisk. These five required sections are Problem List, Medication Reconciliation, Patient Education, Follow-up, and Order Profile. You must address each of these sections to complete the discharge process. Once an item has been properly addressed, the red asterisk will be replaced by a green check mark. The Medication Reconciliation section is used to ensure that the patient's discharge medications have been updated prior to dismissal. To do this, simply click on the discharge link to view and complete the med rec. The Order Profile section is used to view orders on your patient. To satisfy this requirement, you must add the discharge order set. To do this, select the discharge order entry component below and select the discharge order set on the right. After selecting the orders inbox at the top and then selecting modify, the order screen will open, allowing you to modify or add any additional orders. Once all orders have been reviewed and your patient is ready for discharge, select initiate, orders for signature, and then sign. The red asterisk on the order profile component will turn into a green check mark. Please note that the discharge order set needs to be used and not just the single discharge order. The follow-up section is used to add and view the patient's follow-up information. To add items, select the plus sign and document the pertinent information. You may also select pre-completed follow-up items called quick picks by clicking on the desired option. At least one follow-up action must be added to satisfy this requirement. The problem list section can be used to add the patient diagnoses. Please note that this section may already be completed prior to discharge. If a diagnosis needs to be added, you can type the diagnosis into the Add New Search field. To complete this requirement, at least one diagnosis and one chronic problem must be added for the current visit. It is important to review the patient's diagnoses and update them prior to discharge. If a condition was addressed during the current visit but is in fact a chronic condition, you must select the chronic option in order for this information to be filed as a long-standing condition in the patient's chart. If, 
A chronic condition was resolved during the current visit. Selecting the Resolve option will update the diagnosis to the patient's past medical history. The Patient Education section is used to search for and add education materials for your patient. To do this, you can click on the Suggestions button, which will allow you to view recommended education materials based off of your patient's current diagnoses. Clicking on a suggested education topic will add it to the patient's chart. You can also add any additional education materials by typing in the topic in the Search All Education field. Once you have finished reviewing information and completing all required fields, you can complete your discharge note. To do this, choose the Select Other Note link at the bottom of the page. A new screen with a listing of dynamic document templates will open. Double-clicking on the discharge note will open the template, allowing you to complete your documentation. This concludes the video on the discharge process changes occurring with the OneChart upgrade.